Hello friends, welcome to PySpark Media Tutorials. Uh, in this ongoing continuous scenario based interview questions, uh, today's session I'm going to give you one of the real time scenario as well. How to get number of rows per file while reading data from a different file system. How to get number of rows for each file. So when you're processing data, uh, mainly when it comes to PySpark, like we are creating a data frame and then doing some operations. So if the client wants to know how many files you are processing and how many records per file, how many records per file, consider you are processing two files or maybe 10 files or maybe 20 files. But when you are reading data from different files, when you are creating data frame and your client is looking for audit log or you can say logging purpose, for feature tracking, how many records per file, if you want to know, uh, which we can get a number of rows per each file, even we can get a file name as well. So this scenario, we are going to do the practical session. Let's start with uh, how to create data frame and uh, how to get number of files per each file. How to get number of rows per each file. For just a testing purpose, so I will be using a, a Databricks data sets, Databricks data sets. So here you can find some sample files. We'll take one sample data file with the location. Just take one, um, any, any sample file uh, location. Just we'll verify here. Just, yeah. So here, uh, you can find COVID data set. And there you can find uh, USA facts. You can go with any any uh, data file. To just as understand that how to get a number of rows at each file. So here you can find uh, two CSV files. Two CSV files. When you are creating data frame, uh, reading this files. Like here you can find another file called MD file, which is a document markdown document file. So I'll create a data frame using spark.read.csv API. And even we can specify header, header equal to true. Uh, here multiple files are there. So we are looking for only CSV files, which we can create a data frame from this. Just I'll display the data using display function from this data frame. This is all the data. But what we are expecting, so we are looking for, we are looking for mainly number of rows per each file. Like here we are reading CSV file, two files we are reading. So how many records for this file? How many records for this file? Even data frame level, uh, how to add a file name as a separate column name file name with the location which file data it is so what we can do we can create a new column using a with column transformation file name and there's a function called input underscore file underscore name so using this function we can add a file name in this data frame so we can import from files.sql.functions import input underscore file underscore name so in this data frame you can find one additional column this will go with the display one new column see this file name file name with location so what we can do we can apply group by with account group by on this column name file name then take account so count is number of records available at each file now it will give you a file name with a number of records from that file so two files are there so this file is having these many records this file is having these many records 
this file is having this many records and this file is having this many records even you can take a count from total total row count how many rows are there yeah okay so 6386 are there so this file is having 3193 3193 total 6386 so this way which we can go with uh, taking uh, number of records per file like if you are reading 10 files each file how many records it is processing how many files and each file how many records so this way which we can get using one function name called input underscore file underscore name so this function will give you file name then we can do group by on top of that then we can get expected of so this way which we can achieve these kind of scenarios and the same notebook will be available in my github you can find my github account uh, one of the repository so in this repository you can find uh, azure real-time scenarios so here you can find this notebook and if you are looking for if you want to practice if you're looking for this same notebook will be available in my github and uh, we'll see in another video thank you for watching my videos if you're not subscribed please subscribe my channel to get the latest updates and latest uh, scenario based equations on PySpark, Azure and uh, Azure related technologies. Thank you very much. See you on another video.